Hello everyone, so today we are going to be taking an in-depth review and look at my newest Balenciaga bag. Well, that's not true anymore. If you already watched my reveal on Friday, you'll know what I'm talking about. But before that one, this was the newest. This is the Barb's pouch, so if you want to learn more, stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb, and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below if that's the kind of content that you'd like to see more of. Give this video a thumbs up and say hi to me down in the comments. I love interacting with all of you, and this channel is just a fun, safe space for everyone who's addicted to all things luxury. Now that that's out of the way, let's dive into the Barb's bag. All right, you guys, so if you watched my Spain luxury travel episode, then you know that I went to Balenciaga, had a fabulous time, tried on some great clothing, and came home with a new bag. I absolutely love this bag, and I think you will too once you learn a little bit more about it. So the Barb's collection is um, currently at Balenciaga. It's still in stores right now, and it has a lot of fun variations. I myself bought the large pouch with handle. It also comes in a small pouch and a, a different size. Uh, Price-wise, they're not really too different, but I mean, did I need the large size? No. Is it fabulous? Absolutely. Um, you can also get like a different, couple different size totes. They have like a regular everyday tote. They have like those absolutely massive like east-west shopper totes, which are way too big, but that's beside the point. And they come in a lot of fun colors too. So when I was there, they had the black on display, which was gorgeous. They also had like a black and white look, but I liked it, don't get me wrong, and I think I could pull it off. But if worn incorrectly, I think it could lean a little uh, too Beetlejuice for my vibe, so I went with the classic all black. There's also a really fun colored version. It's got like red, greens, yellows. It's very vibrant and a, a little bit too colorful for me. So I think with the classic black, I, I made the right choice. Now with this Balenciaga bag, it's just done in the classic arena lambskin, which they're really known for. Mine is still pretty sturdy. Of course, it's stuffed right now. I've only been carrying it for about a week. I've only had it for, what, maybe a month since we've been back from Spain. And eventually I think it's going to get that really smooshy, really relaxed, soft look that Balenciaga is pretty well known for. So I'm, I'm excited to watch that transformation. Now, I mentioned there's two sizes, so let me get out my laptop here and tell you what they are. All right, so details for the small version. Keep in mind, I have the large. So with the small, it's 9.8 inches in length. So you probably stop it about here, maybe. Six and a third high and only three and a half deep. So still a very generous size bag. Probably more than enough for what I would need on a daily basis, but go big or go home, am I right? So with the large size, which is what I'm holding here, it's going to be 12.6 inches in length, eight inches and oh, nearly eight and a half tall, and four and a third thick. So it's a big boy. You can hold quite a bit. I've been carrying this to work this week and I've loved every minute of it. So much so I kind of want to pick up one of the totes, which I think are pretty cool, but that's way down the road. That's not even on my radar right now. All right, so now that we have the dimensions out of the way, have I already talked about pricing? The large size itself here in the States runs at 875 USD. I think in Spain, I, I might've paid maybe around seven for it. I really don't remember. I should probably know that though. And then for the small version, again, still a great bag, just a touch smaller, only 725 USD. So they're priced pretty comparably considering you get a much bigger version for only about $150 more. Is that right? I'm not good at math. We all know that. So the bag itself, it's constructed, as I said, out of the Arena lambskin leather. So eventually over time, it is going to get smushy, soft, collapsible, which we all know and love that about Balenciaga. However, I do think that given that it's sewn into vertical panels, I think that might help reinforce the shape a little bit longer. So we'll see how it wears. I'm kind of excited. The bottom does make me nervous that it comes to these extreme points in the corners. So there could be some corner wear if you're not careful. So keep that in mind. And I really love the detail here on the bottom where they just kind of close it in like a paper bag and sewed it together. Uh, I think that's quirky, so I'm here for it. The bag itself has a strap here, which you could wear around the wrist. You could easily, you know, put it around the wrist, hold it from the bottom. You know, it might be a little heavy once you actually have your things in there to carry just solely on the wrist strap. Myself, I usually just kind of tuck it in here into the zipper part when I'm carrying it, and I just kind of throw it under my arm, and I'm good to go. Now, detail-wise, it's very plain on the exterior, which I'm okay with. It's nice and subtle. You just have a simple Balenciaga here stamped in gold foil, which I think is a nice Nice contrast considering that the bag itself features silver hardware throughout. Again, another Balenciaga quirk that we all know and love. Now let's get up close and personal and see what fits inside. 
All right guys, so here we have the barbs up close. Is this not like the most gorgeous leather you've ever seen? I, I truly love this bag. So as I was saying, you have the gold Balenciaga foil here on the front, and then on the interior, you have like the silver hardware and whatnot, and on the zipper pull as well. One thing that I do like on the interior, they kind of did like a nod to the classic Balenciaga. This kind of zipper pull would have been seen on like a giant hardware. So I kind of love that they introduced that again for the barbs bag. And then the interior is stamped Balenciaga as well with one interior zipper pocket. Oh, I still have my tags and stuff in there. Okay, so the interior of the bag, it's just a plain black cloth as you would come to expect from Balenciaga. And here on the inside, much like they do with the exterior zipper pockets back in the day, they do continue the leather a couple inches down here on the inside as well, which I think is a nice nod to classic Balenciaga. Everything that I need to carry in a day is usually right here. So right now I am using my full-size Balenciaga Compagnon wallet in blue Maldives with the giant silver hardware. I have my Prada key holder. This is a six key. Love that thing. As you all know, we use the old Gucci iPhone 6 Plus as our tester phone because it's very similar in size to the Pro Maxes. My, again, I'm going to complain about them, nasty old Bose headphones, great for working out, not great for listening to music or really anything else. My Chanel chapstick, <laughs> if you know, you know. There's a funny story there. Shiseido blotting papers and my large gum because I'm addicted to gum. We all have our vices though, so I guess gum's not terribly unhealthy. All right, so typically I like to throw my keys in first with this bag and kind of put them over to the side there. Gum also at the bottom, Shiseido blotting paper and Chanel chapstick. Then up next, I kind of like to put my phone underneath the wallet just so I don't damage the front of the wallet here with like a phone sliding around on top. So I put that in last, throw on my headphones, zip this bad boy up, and there you have it. So as you can see, I mean, I'm really not carrying enough to justify such a large bag. However, it makes a statement. I absolutely love it. And it, I did get stopped a few times this week and got some compliments. So that's always a good thing, right? With a new bag. And then as you can tell, even though it's not stuffed and I just have my things in there, it's still nice and firm. It's, it's a nice, you know, shape to it. All right, you guys. So that was our in-depth look at the Balenciaga Barb's pouch, clutch, bag, who knows? Balenciaga Barb's. I absolutely love this bag. I could not recommend it enough. As you know, have I ever griped about Balenciaga? I mean, I'm a little bit biased, I guess. Balenciaga is my favorite. I love the color. I, I love the Barb's collection. Like I said, I wouldn't mind eventually adding that ridiculously large east-west shopper toe. Eventually. I currently have either like an Hourglass, a Neo Classic, or there's a bag coming out for the Spring 2022 collection that I'm, I'm excited for. So depending on the price point or what that bag looks like in person once it's released, I'll make my choice. But I'm waiting for that to come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I know I just dropped a video on you guys on Friday. If you haven't already, check it out. Link down in the description. And I'll also link my Balenciaga playlist. I have quite a few Balenciaga videos. I mean, obviously. Hello. So I'll link that down below. And then I am working on coming together with a Balenciaga, you know, in-depth, not really a review, but like answering some questions, maybe a buying guide if you haven't purchased your first bag yet. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever about Balenciaga that I can answer, drop them down in the comments below or send me a DM over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Same name over on TikTok. I'll have those both linked down at the bottom. And I'd love to hear from you guys. So help me make this video for you guys. And until then, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great week. Bye-bye.